Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly, and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY Investing. The Binance Smart Chain has been exploding with Binance really leading the way of that charge. Many of the altcoins inside of this smart chain are exploding and I've been making hundreds of percent gain over the last couple of days and this number is only continuing to grow. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can set up the Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask and I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can be earning hundreds of percent profit with little fees, much better than Uniswap, much faster in every single way. If you're new and just finding this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to this channel for more updates. Click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos like the one provided for you here. And guys, make sure you download my ebook. This is going to be an ebook for new guys getting into the market, and it's free. It's not going to cost you anything, but I know it's going to help you out a lot. So once again, go and check that out. And I also wanted to mention that if you guys stay all the way to the end of this video, I have a really special offer that I'm going to give to you as well. With all that being said, guys, we have some really important updates to give you, and I'm so excited for this video. So without further ado, Let's jump right into it today. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna jump right into this one today. I felt like this was gonna be the more valuable type of video I could make for you guys because I know how many of you follow my channel and I see oftentimes that a lot of you guys have problems being able to handle all of the fees on Uniswap and the Ethereum in general, right? And this is something that even I'm having a problem with. I mean, even though I have money, do I really wanna fork over 65 to $100 every time I need to transact using um, the Ethereum blockchain? No, I don't, it's worthless. I don't like to do that. No Nobody wants to just piss away all of their hard and earned money and fees. It's just not feasible. And so for me, guys, I'm really bullish on Ethereum and I believe that it's going to figure out its problems, but the problems are still here. And so we need to find alternatives as it stands. And so I have been using the Binance Smart Chain and I have actually been swapping on some of these different apps like Pancake Swap and Cheese Swap. And I've been able to actually see how easy it is to use this. I've been paying fractions of fees i like literally less than uh less than a few cents in fees and it's like it's uh, it's amazing to go from uniswap where i'm literally getting destroyed from all of the fees to then going to binance where not only does it take five seconds to swap but you're paying hardly anything to do it it's way more efficient way cheaper and it's just a lot better in my opinion and so even though there's not quite the same coin selection that uniswap has I do strongly believe that we're going to see the migration and a lot of the coins that are on Uniswap, I expect them to ultimately bridge over to here so that we can finally be cross-chain compatible. And I believe that this isn't really bad for Ethereum necessarily. Um, I mean, it's not the greatest thing for Ethereum either because people are ultimately going to be leaving, but this is ultimately going to give us the, 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 the infrastructure that we need to connect all of these blockchains, right? People are getting pissed off that everybody only uses Ethereum and it's so expensive. So they're going to migrate. They're going to figure out what to build bridges because all of the value is still uh, well a great deal of the value is still on ethereum and so it's not like it's all just going to leave ethereum there's going to be a shared symbiotic relationship and so i'm going to teach you guys how to actually set up um, the binance smart chain and connect it to your metamask so that you guys can go ahead and start swapping today and i'm also going to walk you guys through the swap process a couple of the different swaps that i've used um, so that you guys can actually understand what to do next so first things first we're just going to go through here and read through this article real quick. Um, now, MetaMask can be downloaded from Chrome, Firefox, and iOS, um, also Android. Um, you guys can go ahead and actually read through this. I'm going to link this all in the description because I'm not going to need to cover it. Just if you guys, most of you have all set up a MetaMask, and if you haven't yet, um, just go through and read this. Basically, it's going to give you a seed phrase. Write down that seed phrase. Keep that so you don't get locked out of your wallet. Um, but it's very straightforward. Just walk through step by step. Just go and search MetaMask download and you'll find it. Um, and then we come to this point. So after you've actually opened the wallet, you've set it up and everything, it's going to look something like this, right? And you guys can have, you probably won't have anything on there. Or if you already use uh, MetaMask, you'll have something. Now, configuring the wallet. This is where it's important. Because the thing is, guys, is it's when we're using MetaMask, we're using the Ethereum network, right? And so you, there's other networks that we can tap into. 
But for this example, we have to actually use the Binance Smart Chain. And so we're gonna have to configure that to our wallet in order to actually swap. And so this is the process of doing that. So when you're in here in the account, go up to the top right, this little uh, logo icon, click that, and then it's gonna bring this drop down menu. Go into the settings, and then from there, you're gonna be able to come over here on the left to networks. And now you guys are gonna see main Ethereum network. That's the one that's on default already selected. Anytime you use MetaMask, it's just always going to be on that unless you purposely change it to one of these. I've never used one of these. If you're ever sending Ethereum, always make sure it's on this one, right? Um, and so this is where you're actually going to have to go and add this because you can see that the Binance Smart Chain isn't even on here. Um, but you can see that there's this little process where we can actually go ahead and fill all of that out. So if we come down here, this is actually the point that you're going to have to fill out all of this stuff right here. Um, and there's actually two different networks. There's the test net and there's the main net. I have not set up the test net. I've only set up the main net. I don't necessarily think I need to set up the test net uh, for what I was doing. I was just swapping on pancake swap and I don't think I need that. So don't worry about that. Um, it says that there might be some coins that you're not going to be able to get on the main net. You'll have to get them on the test net. My guess is that would just be early coins before they're released. And so it's a little bit more complex of obtaining. And I haven't done that. Maybe in a later video, if I get around to doing that, I will make it for you guys. But for now, just stick with this. So the network name right here, you're going to go through and fill all of these out. So the network name is going to be smart chain. Um, the new RPC URL is just going to be this link. You can copy it chain ID 56 symbol BNB. And then you can just go ahead and scan or paste this as well. And this is going to be the test net as well. You guys can add that if you want to. I didn't do it because I just didn't see the need. Um, but then you guys are going to notice that up here in the top right, it's going to say smart chain. Um, this one says test net, but in this situation, you guys are going to set up the main net and it's going to look like that. If you set up the test net, it's going to say test net, but go ahead with the main net first. Um, and then from here, you know, you guys are actually going to be able to go ahead and start making swaps. So once you actually have this whole thing connected to your MetaMask, it's really easy. It takes five minutes to set up. Once all of that's connected, you guys are actually going to be able to go ahead and start swapping. So let's talk about the swaps, talk about the best ones and talk about how you guys can actually use them to your benefit. So I am not sure if you guys have heard, but PancakeSwap actually flipped Uniswap in volume and uh, Binance also flipped Ethereum in daily transactions. And so what that's showing us is there's a lot more people starting to come over to these cheaper alternatives. They're more efficient, they're cheaper, you know, like that sounds better to me in every single way. I tried to buy um, about 15 ETH worth of a coin today and it literally on Uniswap, it was a 20% increase. And it was also going to cost me an arm and a leg to even do that. And it would have taken me, you know, five minutes or a couple minutes to swap it. Whereas on uh, pancake swap, it literally takes like five seconds, maybe like 10 or 15 seconds tops. It takes hardly any time and the fees are practically non-existent. And so I'm going to actually link this in the description as well for you guys to go ahead onto pancake swap. Now there's also another one I bought into recently called cheese swap. This one is a little bit more skeptical. It's like barely, well, it pulled a six X after I bought. So it's probably sitting at like six or seven mil market cap. I bought it at one mil market cap. And so this is one that is a little bit more under the table type thing, like underground. I bought it because it was undervalued and I knew it was a swap on BSC. So you know what? I'm in profit and I'm happy. I did use this and I know it works. I can attest to that. But, you know, I would go with pancake swap first and foremost. Now, another one is actually jewel swap. And this thing just got added the other day. I actually think that jewel swap is going to be better than cheese swap. If you guys are going to go with one, I'd go with pancake swap and I'd go with jewel swap. Um, these guys just got added. So I don't know exactly how many coins they have. I did use this last night. Um, so I can confirm that this works as well. But you guys, it's all just the same as Uniswap, right? They all look the same. This one looks the most like Uniswap. We come over here to pancake and we go over here to trade and we go to exchange, it's also gonna look very much like Uniswap. And so from here, you guys can provide liquidity. You guys can use the Binance Bridge. Keep in mind, if you're an American, you have to have a VPN if you're gonna use the Binance Bridge because it, for some reason, tracks your IP. I think it's centralized, right? And so when you come to this point, you know, you're gonna have to connect your wallet. If you come to PancakeSwap and you don't have the main net for BSC added, it's just not gonna connect to the website. I sat here for 20 minutes getting pissed off because I couldn't figure out why I couldn't connect to it. And that was why. And so once you guys have the main net connected, you guys can come over here and you can actually start buying stuff. So in this case, let's just throw up some cake. I've got some Binance coin. I could buy some cake right now. And then you just swap it, right? I don't have the intention of doing that, but 
if you guys want to go ahead and do that, that's just, this is how you do it. Now, one of the things, if you guys have an error that constantly pops up saying that the transaction failed from uh, invalid output, um, and it, it'll say something like, it's a problem with one of the coins you're swapping. Um, and if that happens, this little gear icon in the top right, if you go ahead and click that and set this to three, um, you're not actually going to have that problem because it's really your slippage. It's set at 0.1%. And so some of these low caps, you try and buy them and it's going to rise the price too much and it's just not going to actually go through. And so you got to set that a little bit higher. Maybe you guys are okay with a 5%, 10%. It's up to you. I set mine for three and I've actually gone every transaction to go through. So um, I don't really see the big need in trying to cost yourself more money. At the end of the day, with the slippage, it's kind of a pain in the butt because you can actually end up just to buy like a few ETH worth of something it might cost like 5% in slippage, right? And so once you guys actually have all of this, you guys are gonna see there's some other sections over here. There's pools, there's farms, there's a lottery. There's, this NFT is coming, it's not there yet. But you guys are gonna be able to do all of that just from here. Now, when I say that the fees are really cheap, let's just do like a basic transaction here and walk you through the process. Um, let's just go, let's just wrap a BNB right here. Let's just go with like, 0.2 BNB and let's wrap these and I'm just going to share with you guys how quick this actually is so then it pulls it up total fee nothing and by the way this shows ethereum but you guys got to remember that it's Binance don't stress about that if you're worried about it it's not a big deal because at the end of the day this is an ethereum wallet and so um, when you originally set up the smart chain it's going to look like it's an ethereum address too just understand that that's okay and if you're really worried about it i did like a little uh test send of 0 0.02 bnb and i confirmed that it went through and it arrived in my wallet and then once again um, i sent over the rest and so that's just something for your own sake if that's how you guys feel but here we go through we click that you can see that the fee is pretty cheap 0.2 bnb and we can see that it already went through right so that was how fast that this thing actually happens. And this is just wrapping. If you wanted to swap it, um, it might take like five to 10 seconds longer. But overall, this is what I'm trying to point out to you guys. The fact is here that this thing is superior in every way to Uniswap. It's faster, it's cheaper. Um, the only thing is there's less coins, so that's the only disadvantage here. But I expect that a lot more are going to bridge the way. All these coins that are already ERC-20s are going to ultimately bridge to BNB. And then we're going to be able to have a nice value transfer between all of these in one. So guys, as we wrap up this video, I just wanted to make sure you understood how to use this. I've been making profits off this, and I think that you guys should check it out. Now guys... If you guys want to sign up for my video course in Signals, you guys should really check that out. I offer two different groups inside of my Discord. I offer the video course and I offer the Signals. The video course is going to teach you guys my technical analysis. I'm going to draw on charts and I'm going to teach you guys all of my strategies as far as that goes inside of a 20-part video series. Now, on top of that, I also offer the Signals. And the Signals are going to be where you guys are going to get access to every one of my long-term holds, every trade that I take over this next cycle, where I'm diversifying, where I'm moving money to, where I'm taking profits, what I'm doing with those profits, and even go beyond uh, cryptos as well at the end of this year i'm going to be looking at a stocks a lot more so you guys are going to get a nice balance of all of that it's a lifetime membership so if you guys want to get access links are provided for you in the description to go sign up you guys can purchase them together or separate if you can only pick one i always recommend going with the signals first because that's obviously the way to make the most money following what i'm doing with my trading plan following the coins getting access to the coins before i ever talk about them on youtube and that's how you guys are going to be able to profit now on top of all of this guys if you don't want to sign up for any of my vip stuff i do have a free ebook that's also linked in the description that's really full of exciting information that I know is going to help you out a lot because it's helped me out tremendously. All of the stuff I put in there is my most vital information that I felt was the easiest to convey to new people getting into the market. So I've gone ahead and made it free to download. Links are provided for you in the description. And with all that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. As always, peace out.